Guess who's back? Back again. Making faves for my friends. First of all, I just have to say that I am on my period and I just needed to tell everyone because this cycle has been very full of PMS. I just wanted to put that out there. Sharing is caring, right? Speaking of sharing, I'm gonna start sharing my favorites that I have been loving over not just this last month, but the last couple of months. I've really been into the Daveness hair products. I have never used them before up until recently. And I've been loving the DD shampoo and the Momo conditioner. And I really like the DD shampoo because it's really gentle. It actually says a delicate daily shampoo for all hair types. So if you're somebody that likes to wash your hair a little bit more often, but you don't wanna totally strip it, this is an awesome shampoo. I really love the scent. It honestly kind of reminds me of baby shampoo, which I really enjoy. And then the Momo conditioner, the full size comes in this box and it's a very thick hydrating conditioner. So I only use a tiny, tiny bit since my hair is pretty short, but I love how this smells as well. This has a like melon scent to it because it has melon extract. It's a little bit sweeter, much richer scent, but I think the two pair really nicely together. And I love how much this hydrates my hair without weighing it down. On my face, I have been using a new retinol treatment. I am a big fan of the Kate Somerville two-in-one retinol cream, but I decided to branch out and try something new. And this one is the Retinol Intense Plus in Botanical Microspheres by Shantikai. Big fan of this retinol treatment. And if you're not familiar with retinol, essentially it encourages cell turnover. And I find that it really helps with any kind of like discoloration on my face, especially if like right now I'm going through my period and some PMS and I have like breakouts. Breakouts always leave marks behind for me. So retinol helps get rid of them faster. I find that it just evens out the texture of my skin. It improves overall clarity. I just notice that my skin really responds to retinol, but it can also be really harsh on some skin types. For example, Eileen, AKA Mama Bay, used retinol and it like burned her skin because she has really sensitive skin. So definitely try products out on like a small patch of skin before like putting it all over your face if you have sensitive skin. Cause you never know, you could have a reaction to it. Anyway, going back to this specific retinol, I think I like this one better than the Kate Somerville one. One, because of the scent, I think it's a little bit more pleasant. The Kate Somerville one, can kind of be a little bit overpowering at first. I also love the consistency of this. It's a little bit lighter, more like a gel cream consistency, whereas the Kate Somerville one is very thick when you put it on. I find this one sinks into my skin a little bit better. Um, so overall, I think that they do very similar things, but I just like the application of this one better. I like the scent better. And I also like the packaging as well. BT dubs, I only use this at night and I always make sure to follow up with a good moisturizer or oil. And if you are using retinol, you wanna make sure that you're using a good sunscreen during the day. Speaking of sunscreen, I have one that I've been using because I've been using retinol. This one is from Aven, and I actually discovered the brand Aven through Ipsy, I wanna say like a couple years ago. I think the very first thing I used from Aven was like the facial spray, just kind of like the Evian water spray, but it was like their version of it. And I really, really love that facial spray. I started using their facial sunscreen. This is the ultra light hydrating sunscreen lotion. It's fast absorbing with a matte finish. So, you know, anything that says matte in the summertime, I'm like, ooh la la, this is made for me. I wore this when I spent the entire day at Disneyland and I didn't get burned at all. I love how light it is, so it's not greasy and it does leave a matte finish on your skin, which is something that I really, really appreciate. And no breakouts that I can tell caused by this sunscreen, only by PMS.
I've really been trying to step up my face mask game because I started just, you know, using face masks for fun to like treat myself and then I was like, oh, I'm actually noticing a difference in my skin. Maybe I should like keep doing this. And the face mask that I have been absolutely loving is the Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask with Probiotic Technology. I've noticed that skincare is moving in this direction where brands are starting to incorporate probiotics into their products, which I think is really cool because probiotics are really great for your digestive health, but you can also use them on your skin and notice beneficial results. Essentially, probiotics used on your skin help nourish your skin and protect it from further damage because, you know, live in life, things happen. This mask here is a clay mask. You can see it's like kind of a light blue color. It feels really cooling and refreshing on the skin, but what I love is how quickly you can use this mask because sometimes you have to leave a mask on forever and then it's hard to get off. It's not the case with this mask. I put an even layer of this all over my face. I leave it on for about five to 10 minutes and then I rinse it off using warm water and while you're rinsing it off you can feel the exfoliation happening and it's really gentle I feel like my skin feels really clean and smooth but also hydrated at the same time after I wash off the mask like my skin doesn't feel super stripped of all the oils on my face it just feels clean and refreshed exactly how I want it to feel. And I've noticed over time with using this that my skin is just happier, like it just feels better. When I put on makeup, it's a lot easier to apply. The texture of my skin is also much smoother. And I also really just enjoy like the actual feeling of exfoliation and the feeling of like, oh, it feels like my skin is being cleaned. I don't have that much makeup, but the makeup that I do have, I am V excited about. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. It's a brow pomade that has a tint to it. And I use this to fill in my brows. I actually bought the Anastasia Angled Brow Brush. Um, I believe it's number 12. And I just dip that in here. And then I like to rub it out on my hand a little bit because a little bit goes a really, really long way. I've also noticed that out of all the things that I've tried, this lasts the longest on my face. So like pencils tend to like smear off after a while, especially because my skin is so oily. But I've noticed that this pomade lasts longer, which is really nice. So, you know, towards the end of the day, it will probably rub off a little bit if I like rub my brows, but for the most part, it stays in place. And I also like how the pomade is waxy in texture, so it also helps groom your brows as you're filling them in. For blush, I've been using Flower Child from Becca, and this is a shimmery, peachy pink color. I have it on my cheeks today, and I think it's a really beautiful color for summer, so. I've been wearing it. I just really like the glow that Becca products bring to your face and you don't have to use that much of it, which I really appreciate. I have been obsessed with the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick in Strip. So this is a beautiful nude color. You can see what it looks like on my lips right now. It's really hydrating and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not like a glossy finish, but it's not a matte finish either. And I love how hydrating it is on my lips and I love the slight tint of color that it also adds because for the most part, like in the summertime, I don't wanna be wearing like a crazy lip color, especially if it's hot outside because I feel like it just melts off of my lips. I've just been reaching for this because it's the perfect everyday color. And again, I just love how it feels on my lips. It's awesome. So for nails, I am still very much on the nude train for my hands. I have pretty much only been wearing Deborah Lippman's Naked Nail Polish on my nails. I just keep repainting them this same color because I really love it. I think it's very chic and understated. It matches every outfit, which is also a plus. On my toes, however, I have been just going for it with Butter London's Jolly Good, which is a 
corally color, like a bright coral. You know, I love me a good coral in the summertime. Oh, I can't, I can't even express to you how much I love corals in the summer. Looking down on my toes and seeing this color, my little toesies through my Birkenstocks. Oh, is there anything better? I don't think so. Keeping it comfy with the fashion faves this month, I was on a search for bras, specifically bras for people that don't have much boobage, like myself. I have found it difficult to find a bra that fits because for the most part, like the smallest size that's sold in most stores is still too big for me, and there's like a weird gap that happens, and the bra just doesn't fit properly. So I've been looking for not only a bra that fits, but bras that are comfortable and also a non-bra option for days when I don't want to wear a bra, but I like don't want my nipples to be out because sometimes I'm okay with them showing and other times I'm like, mm, I just want like a little nipple cover. So the first thing that I have been loving are these nippies. And some of you may be familiar with like chicken cutlets. I call them chicken cutlets at least because that's what they look and feel like. That you use to like add padding to your bra or a completely strapless bra that just adheres to the front, adds a little bit of padding and also allows you to wear something with um, a low back or that's completely backless without showing any of your bra. I did some research online and found this brand called nippies and what I really loved about this brand is that they make these nipple covers they're essentially just covers for your nipples and there's no extra padding they stick onto your skin they're reusable they look really awesome underneath clothing it completely gives you a no bra feeling but you're covering your nipples. And like I said, sometimes I'm like, whatever, my nipples can be out. Other times I'm like, mm, I want it to be a little bit more smooth. I love that the nippies come in different skin tones because as we know, not everyone's nude looks the same, especially when you're dealing with the boob area. So I think it's awesome that they offer different skin tones for their nippies. And I think I got either the light or the medium one but I find that these work perfectly. All you have to do to clean them is to just use like a damp cloth and clean out the inside with some water and like a mild soap and that's it, they'll be ready to go. And it's pretty crazy to think about these just always working and never losing their stick because I've worn these so many times and they've never fallen off. Like they just always stay on, even when I get sweaty, so. I'm impressed with the nippies, and they're not that expensive either. I was so happy with this discovery. Another boob discovery that I've been really happy with, which was actually a recommendation from some of you online when I had tweeted about trying to find bras for like smaller boobs. Some of you recommended this site called Lively, and so I went and checked out the website and loved their bras. And they were also having, at the time, a sale for two for 50 or three for 75. So I took advantage. The first bra that I got was the t-shirt bra, and this is in like the nude slash blush color. And I really love how this fits. It gives you a totally smooth look underneath whatever t-shirt you're wearing. And I love how there's no extra padding. So there's a wire for some support, but there's no padding, which is exactly what I wanted. I find that this fits me absolutely perfectly. I love the straps on this. My only qualm with this is that if I wear a white t-shirt, this nude does not work with my skin tone. It's too light, so you can totally see the bra through any kind of white shirt that I'm wearing. So in terms of it being like a nude bra for me underneath white clothing, it doesn't work out. But outside of the white shirt issue, this bra is perfect. But I will say I would like to see different shades of nude on the Lively site at some point because I would definitely jump on board with that. And then I got this bra, which has absolutely no padding in it whatsoever. It's like a bralette. I love the style 
styles that they have on Lively because for me personally, they're just the right amount of feminine mixed with like a modern feel as well. And I love that. So nothing that's like overly lacy. I feel like they have a good variety of different simple styles. And this is the bralette that I like the most. I got it in black. It also comes in other colors and I think some prints as well, but it's so, so comfortable. So you can wear this like just on its own. I posted an Instagram picture of me just like lounging in this, but it's also cool if you're wearing a tank top that kind of like shows your bra because the side is really cool with the mesh. My girlfriend actually wears this bra a lot. She has one for herself and it looks so cool on her. She was wearing it the other day and I was like, oh my God, love how it looks when it's like peeking out from your shirt. These bras are really comfortable. I love how they look. They provide just the right amount of support that I'm looking for and they're not super expensive. So I'm really, really happy with my lively find. So thank you to everyone that recommended them to me because they're awesome. For reading material, I have been loving the book called Milk and Honey, which is a book of poetry that my girlfriend bought. And she gave me this book because she read it and then handed it off to me because she thought that I would really love it. I did, which is why it's in my favorites video. This is how the author of the book describes Milk and Honey. This is the journey of surviving through poetry. This is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, the healing. Her poetry and writing is filled with this depth and honesty that hits you right in your soul when you read it. And I feel like anyone and everyone could read this book and find at least one piece of writing in here that resonates with them. It's so beautifully done. It's tragic, it's inspiring, it's heartbreaking, um, and really shows the resilience of a human being. And so I definitely, definitely recommend this book. It is so beautiful. and. It has become a book that I carry everywhere with me along with Cheryl Strayed's Brave Enough. This is an article from the Sunday Times from May 29th. And I saved this because I loved not only the artwork that is shown here above the article, which I also snapped on my Snapchat, um, but I loved what the entire concept of the article was. In addition to just loving the artwork that accompanies the article, I think the overall concept of this article was really awesome. And it's called Why You Will Marry the Wrong Person. I think the entire article can be summarized in one of the last paragraphs here. Compatibility is an achievement of love. It must not be its precondition. I thought that was so beautifully and concisely said. And I also think that it's really true because in the article, the author is asking, why don't we ask on a first date how are you crazy? Instead of things like what's your favorite color and things that are very surface level. If we entered relationships with a level of vulnerability and just put our quote unquote crazy out there for the other person and we learn how to navigate those sticky situations that we often find ourselves in in relationships, that is compatibility. Learning how to navigate those tough situations and in turn compatibility ends up being an achievement of love and what a beautiful concept and what a beautiful thought that is because I think a lot of us enter relationships thinking that compatibility means liking the same things and having the same favorite food, having the same favorite color. That can definitely be a part of it, but the deeper compatibility is how you are navigating both the good and the not so great situations that arise in relationships and how you navigate that together as a couple. I thoroughly enjoyed this piece. Something that's a perfect tie-in to this is a podcast that I've been listening to, which is um, the Modern Love Podcast, because I am a huge fan of the Modern Love column that comes out in the Sunday Times. If you're not familiar with the Modern Love column, it is reader-submitted essays about the topic of love and the enduring nature of love. And 
they talk about love in so many different ways. There's so many different stories. And now they have the Modern Love podcast where they dig into their archives because the Modern Love column has been in existence for years. So they're digging through some of their old letters and having actors read them, which is so amazing because you get a voice behind the writing, like an actual voice, and it brings the story even more so to life. What's really cool is not only are these stories and these older essays being read and brought to life, but at the end of the reading, they take a break and then they come back and bring back the author of the essay and ask them for an update on what's going on. And a lot of times, like seven years have passed, four years have passed, so things can drastically change in a person's life over that period of time. So it's really cool to get an update from the actual author themselves. They have the editor of the Modern Love column talk about why he chose to publish the piece in the first place, which is always amazing. So there's really a lot of depth. I think the podcast is just exceptionally well done and I definitely recommend listening to it if you are a lover of love like myself. All right, so that's gonna be it for my favorites today, but I'm not quite going just yet. I wanted to share with you guys something that I'm really excited to be a part of, which is Power to the Period by DoSomething.org and you by Kotex. About 3.5 million people are experiencing homelessness in the United States, and period products are some of the most needed items in shelters. And unfortunately, most shelters can't use their funding to get period products, which are essentials, by the way, and they rarely get them via donations. So to change this and help people in need, I'm working with Do Something and You by Kotex to launch the first ever national period product donation drive. From now through September, September 30th, I encourage all of you to collect and donate unopened boxes of pads, tampons, and panty liners to a local homeless shelter. I'll have a link down below so you can learn more about this and also how you can sign up for Power to the Period. You all know that I am very passionate about periods, whether it's talking about periods, erasing the stigma around periods, helping people in need that don't have the proper period products, eliminating the luxury tax around period products. This is something that is so important and so essential in so many of our lives. And there is absolutely no reason why people should not have these essential management products. And I think a lot of us overlook the easy access that we have to these products and we don't see it as a debilitating thing in our lives because we can easily go out to the store and buy period management products. But there are so many people who do not have that ability. And in addition to that, that period management products will be provided for free in public places. One step at a time though, and we can all work together to make a change. So that is gonna be it for today. I talked a lot because I really feel it in my voice. I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice now. But I hope you all have had a wonderful month. I feel like summer is going by really quickly and just this year in general. Um, but I'm happy about it. I'm feeling really good and I want to extend that love and gratitude towards all of you. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.